In Chapter 6, we're going to develop an autopilot for the UAV. The basic idea is that we're going to desi design a control law that will keep our system operating around some nominal trajectory. Uh, we're going to develop one control technique fully, that being successive loop closure, and we'll also provide some, more, uh, some details on a more advanced approach called LQR. In this video, we're going to review the architecture of the book, see where the autopilot fits in, and we'll also show a demo of the auto autopilot in action. You'll see that while in previous lectures we had the UAV moving for a while, it was basically falling with style. In uh, this lecture, we'll, we'll uh, show you that with the autopilot, we can keep the UAV in the, in the air um, as desired. So in following lectures, we're going to develop successive loop closure. Um, we'll first present a lecture where we develop the basic concepts and, and review second order systems. Uh, we'll then have a lecture where we develop the lateral dynamics, which will allow us to control the course angle and provide yaw dampening. And then we'll have a, a third lecture on longitudinal dynamics that allow us to control the altitude and the airspeed. Um, after that, we'll provide details on how to implement the PID and other filters in a, in a following lecture. And the final lecture of this chapter will present an overview of LQR, um, which stands for Linear Quadratic Regulators. So let's jump over into the simulation, and we can see um, the UAV in action, or the autopilot in action. So <clears throat> right here, uh, the, the main window, I have the, the UAV fly, or operating, and we have it in a northeast down frame. And right here I can uh, publish different autopilot commands, and we'll see that, or you can see that I can publish a desired airspeed, I can publish a desired course angle command, an altitude command, as well as um, provide a fee feed forward. We won't use that much, but we'll, um, <coughs> that, that'll be used by higher level control loss. So let's go ahead and start the UAV. And the first thing you'll note is that it jumps up when we start flying and it's going to be staying staying in the air, uh, which is nice. It's different than in, in previous chapters. And I can come in here, I can design, I can tell it to go, you know, 3.14, so have it go all the way back to the, to going in the negative uh, x direction. So we can control its, its course angle, and you'll see here that if we come look over here, uh, our psi angle, uh, yaw angle corresponds to uh, in the no wind conditions to roughly that course angle, right? And you see that it's converging up to that 3.14 desired value. And of course, there's a wrap around at pi, so that's why it kind of jumps down there. Uh, we can command a different altitude, so we'll do 150 meters. And so here you see we've been operating right around 100 meters. We bounce up and down uh, when we need to, to move around, but we can quickly converge up to, to 100 meters and to get the aircraft back, let's, let's bring it back. And we can also um, do our airspeed command. So previously we were operating at 35 meters per second. Now we'll operate at 25. And you can see here that for our airspeed, now we'll jump down and that's this plot right here. That, that middle plot that I have my mouse over, and we can see that we converge down to that, that desired airspeed. See if our aircraft is coming back, which it is. Um, and so, yeah, we can, really kind of fun, we can move around. And you can see that we're really able to now uh, control the, the system more fully. And the nice thing is it also stays in the air instead of just falling out. Okay, so, there you have it, we have an autopilot design. Let's see where that fits into, um, fits into the overall system design. So as we jump down here, this is a, an architecture diagram provided in the book. And as you can see here, the unmanned vehicle portion, this is really, we've been dealing with chapters two through four, uh, did the un, unmanned vehicle. Uh, Chapter five was really a prep for the autopilot, and in this chapter, 
uh, we're going to develop that autopilot. So here we have the autopilot we're going to be working on. Uh, in the next chapter, chapter 7, uh, onboard sensors, whoops, the onboard sensors are developed so we can then use that, or it can be used in chapter 8 uh, for state estimation. Then chapters 9 and 10 will go into developing path following controllers. So, or, so yeah, if we have a straight line or a, a circular path, how do we follow that and what commands do we send then to the autopilot? So that'll be our airspeed, altitude, and heading commands. So we'll, we'll chat about that, uh, these commands today, and then we'll use those in chapters, really in chapter 10, but in chapter 9 we develop some models. And then in chapter 11, we'll develop a path manager that will allow us to switch between different uh, paths to, to execute a full path from point A to point B. And chapter 12, we'll then pl plan that path uh, from point A to point B. So that's where, that's where we fit in here with the, the autopilot. So we'll be developing that over the next few lectures as we develop successive loop controller uh, a successive loop closure controller and then we'll provide details on how to implement that the different control laws in code as well as present an overview of LQR.